Hi, Mariah Tanner here, uh, Director of Community Development at the Volunteer Center of Santa Cruz County, and I am with my new friend. Tobias Aguirre, I'm the CEO at Fishwise. I just pointed out to Tobias that his last name rhymes with Nuguri, which is crazy because he works in creating sustainable fisheries globally. So, uh, mic drop. <laughs> so, Tobias, I, I actually just met you uh, a couple months ago and it was this really like serendipitous type of meeting because your wife does all these things that I love and you do all these things that I love and, I, and I've lived on Seabright Avenue for five years mm -hmm. and I have probably driven by the Fishwise sign where your office is, you know, a thousand times. And I've thought to myself like, what do they do, right? And I'm sure this is a question that you get often because mm -hmm. you're the CEO of Fishwise. Um, so I just wanna hear a little bit about what your organization's mission is and, um, and you know, what you guys are doing in the world. Yeah, you know, we're kind of an undercover local success story, I think. Mm -hmm. We started out around 2000 by U two UCSC marine science students that saw the challenge in our oceans. You just have to look at our backyard. Um, a lot of our local fisheries were overfished and really damaged. Um, and you had New Leaf Markets, who was a very sustainable, responsible company, and yet you go to the seafood counter and you had no information to make a sustainable choice. And so they said, let's marry the, the information coming out of the Monterey Bay Aquarium and put it at the point of sale, see what customers do. And it, we turned out that people, you know, will really support sustainability if they have good information. And so we've just grown from there over the last 15 years. That's, that's so awesome. Uh, you just won an award, a recognition from your alma mater, right? Yeah, uh, UC San Diego is the School of Global Policy and Strategy. And what was the award? Outstanding alumni. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you could work and you can do anything you want in this, you know, big, beautiful world where the oceans are a, you know, large percentage of, right? Why Santa Cruz? Why this backyard? You know, why this community? Well, I grew up in this area. Um, I moved here about 30 years ago and I was raised, you know, from a really young age the importance of making a meaningful contribution to the world. Um, and, you know, as a teenager, I was inspired um, by so many examples out there. But most recently, Paul Hawken has this quote, um, the earth is, uh, you are brilliant and the earth is hiring. Oh. Which to me, it's just such an inclusive invitation to get engaged. Mm -hmm. um, we all have our unique talents and abilities to affect change. And the earth is hiring, meaning there's a multitude of opportunities. So I just took it on myself to step into that. So what's it like, uh, what's it like in the day to day in Fishwise? I've, I have heard that there's an incredible culture there that I'm sure, you know, culture for me is, is grown bottom up and also top down. And okay. I think the best type of work culture is when it's, when both come together. But what is the culture of Fishwise like? Well, I think at the core, we're doing meaningful work. And so you go to work inspired, ready to get stuff done. Um, but we have a lot of fun doing it also. Uh, one of our social norms is get outside, stay inspired. So connect to the ocean, go diving, sailing, fishing, all these things that we love about the ocean and bring that back home and uh, to the office and apply the talents that we have. Um, I'm also inspired on a daily basis, uh, in particular by all the women that we have, like amazing, talented women. Uh, we have, it's about two thirds uh, women in our organization and in the era of Me Too and still gender inequity in work. Um, I just look around the office and I'm just inspired by all these people doing amazing things. Mm -hmm. you, you have a lot of females as active scientists, right? Yeah, scientists, but also, you know, we work with major seafood companies to help them become environmentally and socially responsible. So, you know, Ashley Greenlee, she'll go to the corporate headquarters of Albertsons, which is something like a $60 billion company, mm -hmm. and she's a trusted advisor there, and they will take meaningful, measurable action based on what she has to say. Mm, that's incredible. So... If I am out grocery shopping and I want to cook dinner for, you know, my friends and family, what are three, 
really um, you know, simple behaviors that I can take as a consumer to make sure that I am being, you know, mindful of our oceans and uh, and of our, you know, my own f footprint. So I think it's good to, you know, seek out grocery retailers or farmers markets that have a stated sustainable seafood policy. We're really lucky. We have New Leaf Markets here, who is really one of the pioneers. Um, before there was a sustainable seafood movement, they started working with us. Um, you know, the farmer's market, they have a lot of uh, locally sustainably sourced seafood coming right out of Monterey Bay. Um, so I think that's where I would start is, you know, go to their website, look at the About Us and see if they have a rigorous, credible policy. Um, our friends across the bay at Seafood Watch, it's a program of the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Mm -hmm. They have the Seafood Watch app that you can download for your iPhone or Android, and that puts the information right at your fingertips. But if you go to a restaurant, ask questions, ask where it's from, how it's caught, mm -hmm. is this sustainable? This sends the message that people care about the health of our oceans. Mm -hmm. So where can we find you? You have a website? Like, What's the best way if people want to get involved with your organization? Yeah, uh, it's fishwise.org. And we just launched a, a new capital campaign because we're in the in the transitioning from being a local organization with a global impact to now going international. And so we're launching new programs to fight illegal fishing around the world. Um, and then also starting to really get into social responsibility. About five years ago, it became known that um, there's actually modern day slavery, forced labor, human trafficking in the seafood industry. Mm -hmm. So the shrimp on our plates might have been produced with slave labor. Mm -hmm. um, so we're developing roadmaps and toolkits wow. and building coalitions to fight um, those issues. Wow, so, thank you for being such a social justice warrior. Uh, well, thank you for your time, Tobias, and um, I'm excited to see how your organization expands into this international you know, change-making entity. So you're on the right, on the right path. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Mariah. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, and you want to see more, why don't you subscribe to our channel? We would really appreciate it. And also, make sure you turn on your notifications, because then if you do, you'll be the first one to actually see our video. And lastly, Again, if you like the video, why don't you like the video? Okay, thank you very much.